This is an idiom. Anybody? It's not a proverb. Okay. Okay. It gives us another meaning. Yeah. The, the the actual the actual meaning doesn't go with the literal with the literal words. Okay. I've been talking about person. Talking about people, but talking about different situations yes, as well. Good. Okay. So a very simple example of an idiom is it's a piece of cake, and you can tell me what does it's a piece of cake mean. Easy. It's very easy. Okay, good. So can you put the sentence, or can you put the phrase, it's a piece of cake, into a sentence for me? Yeah, playing football is a piece of cake. Okay, very good. See, okay. What about an exam? Exam is, exam is like a piece of cake. The exam was a piece of cake. It was very easy, okay. Or, I passed the exam with flying colors. Again, very easy, and passed it with, with high marks, okay. Flying colors. It's something easy, something simple. All right. So the actual definition of an idiom is a set expression of two or three more, two or two or more words that mean something other than the literal meanings of its individual words. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Number one, a bad penny always turns up. Okay. An example. If a bad penny always turns up, a bad person reappears. Good, okay? Uh, you get rid of one bad penny, or you get rid of one bad person, there's always going to be another bad person to take his place, or her place, okay? Um, number two, bad, bad news travels fast. Um, if a friend tells you that bad news travels fast, they are A, trying to comfort you, B, they want to make you cry, or C, they want to make you go faster. A, a, a. a, they're trying to make you feel better, okay? Some news got out. Didn't really want anybody to know, maybe. And the person is going to say, oh, you know, don't worry about it. Bad news travels fast, but it'll go away. Or if a person is sick, you want the news to get out so people can go and visit. Okay, let's go to some other ones. Okay, let's do this one. Early to, bed, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Does that mean, is that a recommendation to go to bed late? Early, not to go to bed late, okay? Is it a recommend? Is a recommendation of something to do? Early. 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 Okay. Good. Why? Okay. We have another phrase that is similar to this. Okay. Not just this phrase, but we also have the early bird catches the worm. Has anyone ever heard of that phrase? Yes. Yes. The early bird catches the worm means the same thing. Okay. Those who get up early start their day early. They're the first to get things done, to get things accomplished, okay? If you go to bed early, you're going to be healthy, okay? You're going to be the first, okay, to get up, get moving, you make your day productive, it'll make you wealthy, all right? You have plenty of sleep, your mind is nice and clear, okay? You're not tired, you know how when you're tired, you feel, how do you feel when you're tired? Your mind, like you can't concentrate. Okay? So it's also going to make you wise. Wise, smart, and aware of things around you. Alright? So it's rec the recommendation is to go to bed early. Okay? Facts, the next one. Facts are stubborn things. Stubborn. Okay? What does it mean that something is stubborn? What's the word that's stubborn? Stubborn. Okay. Think of your kids. Alright? Think of your kids when they're little, all right? And they want something, yeah. When someone uh, insists on his uh, idea. On his idea or his way. Very good, all right? They insist on having their way, okay? But in this sentence, facts are stubborn things. So what does what is it saying facts are stubborn things imply, okay, indicate we should do with facts? 
Do we accept them, ignore them, or rephrase them? Accept them. Accept them. Good. Facts are facts. You can't change them. Agree? Anybody agree? Disagree? Yes. Agree. Okay, good. Alright, excellent. I like this one. Okay. Give a thief enough rope and he'll hang himself. Okay? Give a thief enough rope and he'll, and he'll hang himself is true. What will happen to a bad person who is not challenged? In the end, will he himself, will he get himself out of jail, out of trouble, or into trouble? Excellent. Why? Because it is showing that the bad person, he will make mistakes yes. and he will fill them. And then eventually, yes. That's eventually, they'll get caught up. Okay, very good. Good. I like that one. I think that's kind of fun. Right. Jack of all trades, master of none. A jack of all trades, master of none is normally seen as a, a compliment, a mild insult, or advice to learn many jobs. Okay, if somebody is a jack of all trades but a master of none, what is that indicating? Is it indicating a compliment? Okay, are you making somebody feel good about themselves? Okay, or is it a mild insult or is it advice to learn many jobs? Advice to learn many jobs. Mild insult. Mild insult, excellent. It's a mild insult because he's a jack of all trades, but he hasn't mastered any one particular skill, okay? He knows everything, but not... He knows a little bit. Little bit. He knows a little bit of everything, but he doesn't know a lot about something. He's not proficient. Exactly. He's probably not degreed, or he's not skilled, he hasn't gotten a certificate, or whatever. Okay, everybody here, all right? You are all mastering a skill, okay? You're gonna be certified for that skill. It will show that you have taken professional steps to improve your language skills. Okay, yes. therefore, all right, you will eventually be a master in the English language. That's your ultimate goal. You don't want to know just a little bit of English to get by. You want to know more, as much more. as you can. Yes. Okay, to be fluent and improve in your careers and your studies. 